It's been arguably the biggest year ever for Gurkha Company in Catrick since training moved here in 1999. In recent years, the numbers trained have been around 200. Today, 399 of the 400 strong intake passed out. The one remaining rifleman will have to wait a couple of months until his broken leg heals. Never forget your past in the fall. Recall the day last year when you passed selection for service in the British Army in Pokhara. It is a big day, nine months uh, challenge. Uh, a roller coaster, straight from the street of Nepal, coming all the way, receiving the best training in the British Army, probably the best training in army in the world. You witness today passing a parade. They are absolutely professional. They are absolutely ready to deploy. I'm probably the proudest officer commanding in the entire British Army right now. Yeah. It was all going so well until the rains came, but these young riflemen are now used to the British weather. The overall champion recruit, the recruit in K29C, is 3031 2684, trainee rifleman Shannon Rye, who is 20 years old and comes from the eastern part of Nepal. Yes, sir! Seeing the general, uh, general sap, it just made, it made, us, uh, made us feel more proud, and I was, I was quite happy. Everybody was watching us, and uh, it was so freezing, but still, <laughs> it was our pride day. That's why uh, we have to do this, and we felt really proud today. I am hugely proud. This young man at the side of me I met um, in the first few weeks of April, and although his English was already spectacular, uh, it's been my great privilege to work with him, to get to know him, uh, and to be on this leadership journey with him. I'm so, so proud. We all are in English language wing, and it's great to be here today and see them passing out. It's wonderful. I always dream for these days, because I know after being trained for nine months, we're going through the passing out parade. And uh, after being selected in the British Army, I was really amazing for this day. I think probably I've changed a lot because after nine months when I will see my mom and dad, they will be very surprised like my son has changed a lot, like to taking responsibilities and all, to doing the stuffs, to make the clothes, ironing, polishing the shoes, she will be happy. Next year, the instructors here at Gurkha Company will have an even bigger challenge as numbers rise to 432. There was no shortage of tears amongst the warriors. It's the moment that many have been dreading. It's a day of excitement and nerves and anticipation and joy and sadness because after nine months of hard training, today is the day that the British Army's newest Gurkhas have to say goodbye to Catterick. Since they landed from Nepal in February, this has become their home, their instructors and classmates, their family. Sorrow and joy is all mixed up, so it's like a really fun and it's like um, we'll be missing our secondary home I think. It's a hard day isn't it? Uh, yeah it is such a hard day and uh, we're gonna really miss the, all, of, all of these things, all of the, the, the Catrick, <coughs> my Gurujis, my section commanders, uh, staffs and all my nomaries of course. I gonna miss them so much <coughs> and it is a hard day for me. Saying goodbye is always the hardest for, always hardest for me and uh, I'm trying hard not to cry. <laughs> You're doing well not to cry. Yeah, I'm trying. There's a lot of tears around today. Yeah, a lot of, I'm, I'm seeing lots of tears around and it's making me hard to control my <laughs> feelings. It is, of course, a hard day for the staff of Gurkha Company as well. They've nurtured these young men from the start. Now they must wish them luck and send them on their way. When they leave, like, we all are like a, a sad, kind of sad, you know, and then, you know, uh, nine months we've been together with them and then when they left and there's no one, so it's like um, empty, you know, full of empty. Yes, I remember um, back in the days when I was in 2009, 
Uh, yeah, we had the same tear on, on in our eyes as well. Yeah, we got some tear as well when we left. Yeah, yeah, still, yeah, still, like I can memories in my mind. I think like we just arrived yesterday, and now it's time to leave everyone. Uh, that within this nine month training, uh, we have very fantastic time with our nobody, and we have hard times together, good times together. And uh, before nine months, uh, we met. Uh, we were unknown to each other, uh, but uh, within this nine month training, uh, we have become like a real brothers. Uh, we have developed the feeling of brotherhood among each others. Uh, and our section commanders and our gurus were uh, fantastic. Uh, and they have given a lot of lessons, and I feel like uh, we all have become from uh, a boy to men. Uh, before nine months, uh, we were uh, nothing. Uh, that uh, it was very hard to hard for us. Uh, and now we have become a true Gurkha soldiers. Those joining two Royal Gurkha rifles are heading straight to Heathrow. They fly to Brunei to join their new regimental family. The rest will travel to their new homes across the UK. When the coaches depart, the walls of Gurkha Company will fall silent. But the permanent staff have some challenging weeks ahead. They must now begin preparing for the class of 2020, almost 10% bigger than this, which was already the largest in three decades. <coughs> Gurkha Brigade is growing and growing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.